Hey, hey weight training family. family. So we don't want to make this video too long, but as you could probably already figure out from the title, we got some firsthand experience with COVID. Um, I'm not trying to sensationalize this or like take advantage of the situation, but there are a few things I wish I would have known before getting it myself, before Ty got it. Um, and just wanted to cover some of those things with you guys. So first, when did, when did you actually test positive? What was your result date? Because it's been a while. We don't still have it. We're not still currently contagious. In November, right? November 23rd. November. Okay, so Ty tested positive on November 23rd. That was the date of her test. Yeah. The actual day we got the results was Thanksgiving, which was, woohoo, we didn't get to go eat food with anybody else. We had to start our quarantine process then. We canceled. So, we canceled all plans. Yeah, I canceled going over to my parents' house, seeing her parents later in the evening. So, some things to know. Um, we were reached out to by the health department for our area, which is in Alachua County in Florida. And we were told that we only need to quarantine under two conditions. The first one was 10 days from our first symptom. And the second one was it needs to be at least 24 hours since you last had a fever without taking any uh, like Tylenol to bring the fever down. Now, I didn't have a fever at all. You didn't have a fever either, right? No, we didn't have fever. We didn't have fever. And I'll be honest with you guys, like we got our November 23rd results tests um, about three or four days after we actually got tested. And prior to that, and even waiting on our results, we still kind of lived as normal. Like we always wear masks when we go out, even in the gym, you'll see me, I have my mask on. Ty usually has hers on unless she's in like the middle of a heavy set and our gym rules state that if you're lifting, you don't have to have it on during your sets, just in between. So we kind of still lived as normal because we didn't really think we had it. We didn't have the fever. We get checked at any of the gyms we go to, they check our temperature and we come in. Correct. Um, we try and, to keep our distance when we work out. And I've had a couple little colds since COVID exploded. And I really didn't, at the start, think it was anything that serious. I think I had sore throat and like a bit of congestion. Like that was how it started the first couple of days for me. Do you remember what your first couple of days of symptoms yes, were? Yes, I didn't have your same experience. I was a little kind of scary on my end. So I started with... Uh, my daughter my older one my five years old she started getting sick for one day but she's always have some allergy problems so mm -hmm. i didn't relate it at all with kobe because it was just one day and i gave her some uh allergy medicine and the next day she was okay but i remain sick so and i normally don't get sick a lot uh probably one day and that's it my immune system is very strong so when I get sick, I start getting worried. I say, okay, well, it started with headaches, a strong headache, like migraine kind of type, like I cannot see the light. I, I had to keep my eyes closed. And that was within the first and couple days? That, that was, my daughter got sick Saturday. We was sick Saturday and then they got better Sunday and I was still sick. Uh, it was more like a strong headache, big, big headache on the back of my neck, like somebody just scratching my skull and that headache. And then uh, it turned out, and then a couple of days, like two days after I started with my soul throat, I was like, oh my God, my, my throat start hurting. But I didn't relate it with COVID because I snore with my mouth open the whole night. And then we put our yeah, fan. Yeah, she Yeah, and then he put his fan. <laughs> in our face so here i am snoring with my mouth open the whole night and the fan it would dry my throat so the next day in the morning like every morning i have soul throat but so i didn't relate it with covid and then as the day passed then i started feeling sort of breath like i couldn't breathe and i started feeling chest pain which it really worried me because i never had that experience before especially I was continuing working out. I still have my energy, but I noticed every time after my workout, I was dead. I was straight to bed. I didn't have no energy whatsoever. So yeah. that's when I tried to realize, well, it, this had to be something more than a cold. This had to be something more than migraine because I normally do 10, 15 push-ups, and I did three and I was just out of breath. Like mm -hmm. I couldn't breathe. Like I bang on my knees and 
trying to catch my breath. Like as of right now, we talking, I still trying to catch my breath a little bit. Even though we um, we got cleared out from the health department, I still have that catching up my breath. So everybody have different experience with the COVID. Yeah, it definitely hit Ty a lot harder than it hit me. Uh, now that she mentions the headaches, I had like pretty bad migraines the first weekend that we got it. And then, but we didn't know we had it yet. But then like even for the next week, I had like maybe like a two out of 10 migraine, like not even enough that I'd normally take Tylenol, but enough to be like annoying throughout the whole day. Like normally I get migraines sometimes if I don't eat enough or um, if I look like it's too bright of lights or something, but like this, it didn't matter what I did. I just kind of had that migraine the whole time. So like the symptoms were, they seemed like kind of like in a bell shaped curve. I guess it might be similar to other things, but like we started having symptoms, it wasn't that bad. And then they hit really bad for as far as migraines for me. And then the chest tightness for Ty and short of breath. And then it just kind of trailed off, but it, it did linger for a while. Like it, even though I was cleared to go back to the gym, I still took another day off just to make sure I felt up to it because there's definitely some lethargy, like just like general tiredness throughout the day, right? Like we yeah. slept a lot. We we definitely slept our way out of this. I slept a lot, so. yes. And um, one thing, I, I, lo I lost my appetite. So mm. we, are, uh, we are prepping for a show next year as a bodybuilder and we have a strict diet and you know, with strict calories and all that. I had to come off my diet and everything because I wasn't able to eat like any food it was appealing to me i didn't lose my taste i didn't lose the smell so that was kind of good um i was tasting everything but in my mind i don't know if it was mentally nothing was good to me um one thing i noticed i couldn't eat nothing hot like mm, nothing yeah. hot and i drink a lot of tea i drink tea and my coffee in the morning i couldn't even drink that i had to drink everything it had to be cold my fully had to be cold like in my stomach i was feeling loaded and i have a stomach ache too um i had diarrhea a lot i thought actually it was the stomach bug not related with the COVID because most of my friends they don't have those symptoms where they had it no. but i did have it and i lost a lot of weight too because of that so i keep myself hydrated a lot yep, yep. um i drink a lot of uh, ginger tea with chamomile uh honey for my throat and pretty much i made myself eat because i felt like it was one day i didn't eat all my meals that i skipped a few because i didn't want to eat it and i feel it was worse so mentally i had to keep myself pushing and eat every single meal and more so my body can fight to the virus because it was, I mean, with this diet, it's so low on calories that I need something to fight this virus back. So I had to just come off my diet and just eat whatever I yeah. feel like doing. I definitely noticed that too. Like I stayed on my diet, I kept the calories exactly the same. I didn't train, I didn't do cardio, and I was still way hungrier than I normally would be on this level of calories. So to wrap this up, cause it's getting kind of long, um, definitely what I wish I would have known prior to getting this is like you hear, like the things that always stuck out to me in the headlines were that you lose your smell, you lose your taste and you get a fever. Those are, and I know that happens to a lot of people, but I, this is, the reason we made this video is because none of those happen to us. So it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and get checked sooner rather than later. Um, you can do it the way Ty did. You can make an appointment with your doctor and hopefully get seen the next day or you can make an appointment and get seen the next day for like a CVS drive up. That's what I did. Um, because we tried to do a walk-in the first day that we were like, ah, you know, maybe we should get checked. And Impossible. It was, it, every place we called was a three hour wait. And then we showed up to one at seven o'clock that was supposed to close at eight. And they said they didn't take any walk-ins past seven o'clock. So they told us to go home. They said they had people lined up till like 9.30 or 10. So definitely, try and schedule it through your doctor or through like the next day, like self test at CVS. Um, and then, you know, if you do test positive, you don't have to wait from that testing positive date as long as you had symptoms. So if you had symptoms like we did maybe five days before we got tested, we only actually quarantined for five days because it's from the date of those symptoms. Now, if you don't have symptoms, like the kids, they didn't have symptoms. They didn't really have symptoms at all. Like a runny nose, like that could have been allergies. 
So they were technically supposed to quarantine for 14 days, so they quarantined longer. Um, well, that's, I'm sorry to cut you off, that's the headline now, but they normally, the health department, whatever you are, they normally change this guideline, it's just depending. So you just make sure that you are aware what is the guideline for the health department, whatever you are, and then just follow those instructions yeah. because they change all the time. Yeah. And they'll call you though, like if you test positive, they called me and then they confirmed to me, okay, since your symptoms started so long ago, you're actually good to go to work or go back to the gym yeah. the next day if be it's been 10 job. days. Yeah. So, all right, guys, a little bit longer than we planned, but Sorry. I think that this video will be helpful to anybody that either thinks they might be getting COVID uh, or is on the lookout for if they're going to get COVID because it seems like it's more of a matter of when, not a matter of if you're going to get it. So... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure before you go, you hit that like button and the subscribe button. Anything else? Stay safe. Stay safe. Take care, guys. Thank you. Three, two, one, zero. zero.